Give Jesus the loudest shout of praise. Hallelujah. Give him another shout of praise. Amen. We're going to be praying for the UK conference starting on Thursday. May we rise upon our feet as we pray Psalm 150 from verse 1 and 2. Psalm 150. Say praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty act. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Lift up your voice and say after me, say, Father, thank you for the manifestation of your awesomeness at the previous UK Glory Conference. Thank you, Lord, for souls saved, bodies healed, captives liberated. And we thank you for what you are set to do this week. To you be all the praise. Lord, in the name of Jesus, you can say, Father, thank you for the manifestation of your awesomeness at the previous UK Glory Conference. Thank you, Lord, for souls saved, bodies healed, captive liberated. And we thank you for what you are set to do this week. To you be all the praise. In the name of Jesus, lift up a voice and pray. Lift up a voice and pray. Father, we thank you for the manifestation of your presence, of your awesomeness at the previous UK conference. Thank you, Lord, for souls saved, for bodies healed, for captives liberated. We thank you for all you are set to do this week. To you be all the praise in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your awesomeness at the previous UK conference. Masha Kulodo in Legada Balagaria for the soul saved, for the bodies healed, for the captive liberated. We thank you for what you are said to do this week. To you be all the praise, to you be all the glory, to you be all the praise. In Legadi Malagaladia, in Legada Belega, Lada Belega, Lada Belega, Ladiada, in Legada Belega, Lada Belega, Lada Belegrudia, in Lagada Balaga, Lada Balaga, Lada Balagrudia, in Shana, in Legadia. In Libala, in Nicodobala, a la Galada Balagrudia, in la Galabala Galabi Gridia, in la Galabala Galada Balagalada Bala, in la Bella Galada Balagalaria, in la Bella Galada Balagaladia, in la Bella Galada Balagalada 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 Bala, in la Galabala Galada Balagalada Balagalada Bala, in la Galabella Galada Balagalada Balagrudia, in la Galabella Galada Balagalada Balagrudia, in la Galabala Galada Balagalada Grudia, a Shania, thank you, Malagodia, a Legadea, a Legadabria, a Legada Balagrudia, a Shana Malagalada Balagalada Balagrada Gadia Dabada Zilia Hanteli Frontona Salahani, Zima Takayama and Nagalanidis. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' name, we pray. We are praying for that for the UK conference, Jewel chapter 2 and in verse 3. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burned. The land is as it got not eaten before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. Pray with me, say, Father, we commit the UK glory conference starting this week into your hand. Let your fire go before us to subdue evil altars and gods and let your flame burn every child after we have returned let your glory be revealed oh lord in the name of jesus again say father we come in the uk glory conference starting this week into your hand let your fire go before us to subdue evil altars and gods and let your flame burn every child after we have returned. Let your glory be revealed. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. Mark, okay. 
Itelia tatatala. Itelia satlame. Vrumba kaye, vra kaye, vra kaye. Ela kaba 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 yadi. Nete tilia, nete tilia. Ra kwa 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 kwa. Zwa leto rakab. Zele te twani. Ebra kaba ya ba 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 Zina la 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 and the terror of God was upon the cities that they were round about them and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. Lift up your voice and repeat after me and say, Father, we ask for the safety of travel for every participant of the UK Glory Conference. Father, we ask for the terror of the Lord to defend and protect every delegate to and from the conference. Oh Lord, say Father, we ask for safety of travel for every participant of the UK Glory Conference. We ask for the terror of the Lord to defend and protect every delegate to and fro the conference. Lord, in Jesus' name, of your mother pray. Father, we ask for safety of travel. Let us go to Nasa. Ella go to Balagala. Esha ya 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 go to Balagala. Esha go to Balagala. Go to Balagala. Esha da go to Balagala. Esha ya 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 ya. Jaka pa ka sokola ga bragadish. Lira skunda libra gadosh. Jaba lagada galaga da galaga di gadash. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 19. The Bible speaking, and the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. Verse 18. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Lift up your voice and pray this prayer like you mean. It. Say, Father, Father, we take authority, take authority over every satanic projection, every satanic projection. and counter attacks for the UK Glory Conference. Glory Conference. We declare them we declare them nullified and neutralized by the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus again say father we take authority over every satanic projection counter attack for the UK glory conference we declare them nullified neutralized by the blood of Jesus lift up your voice and pray the prayer in Rika Suna Manda Libra Gada Zabala Bada Balege Degedish Intelebege Degelege Degedish Larus Intalima Ruske Libra Gada Zaya Ya 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 Ila Bada Balaga Degelege Degedish We take authority over every satanic projection and counter attack for the UK Glory Conference We declare them nullified neutralized by the blood of Jesus thank you mighty god limrodas kapandele firatarasia in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Somebody believe God has heard and has answered our prayers to so give Jesus a big hand of praise. Amen. God is set to glorify himself in the UK conference. The land is primed 
and the glory of the Lord must be seen. Amen. Put your hands once more together for Jesus and you may be seated as we we'll proceed with testimonies. When God's servant comes up, he will give us more details about that meeting um, in a couple of days kicking off. Please, if you hear your name, you rush forward for your testimonies. And um, if by any means your name isn't mentioned, can you represent in a subsequent service? Let's receive Moses, Moses Osa for his testimony. Moses Osa, Samuel Odi, Pastor Chinedu, Juan Neli, Blessing Jonathan, Smart Balogun Pastor. Christiana Godwin. Again, Christiana Godwin. Pastor Smart Balogun. Blessing Jonathan. Pastor Chinedu Wan Neli. Samuel Odi. Moses Osa. You believe you are next in line for a testimony or hand clap is the loudest. Give Jesus praise for this harvest of testimonies. Father, we are grateful. Yes, your name and what God did for your friend. Amen. My name is Pastor Moses Osa. I'm a winner, but highly connected to this commission, always praying day and night. I have been coming here since last year with a cry to God Almighty to answer me over my friend. His name is Mr. Carlos. He was before the director of Dangote Transport working in Obajana and conspiracy came... Thank you. Just to say it, God has answered me here. He has been restored and given a better position than where he is before. So I have came from local judge this morning to give God all the glory. Hold on. Come. The details were quite summarized. I was trying to just advise so that the details are not expunged as much as possible. He said um, the friend lost his job and then he stood in the gap connected on behalf of the friend connecting to the command of the midnight prayers and God's servant made declarations about those who were terminate, whose jobs were terminated and he believed God, held onto the horns of the altar for the mercy of God and he said, in the same organization that a friend was, um, whose job was terminated, he was reabsorbed into the same organization in a higher capacity and doing better things, of course, earning better monies, and he has come to give God praise. That had been his prayer point, standing in the gap, and today it is testimony. Congratulations on behalf of your friend. Put your hands together again for Jesus. Yes, your name and what God did for you. My name is Samuel Odi. Samuel Odi said I should take for him. He said he finished his secondary school in the year 2016 and since then he's been trusting God or he was trusting God to gain admission to the tertiary institution. He said some persons had told him that if it is about school, just forget it. You can't go to school. And it was as though that was beginning to find expression in his life until he came into this place and um, in 2019 he heard words that who is he that said a thing and he came to pass when the Lord commanded it not. That same year, 2019, he gained admission into the higher institution. <laughs> While he got to the university, he said in his first year, um, wickedness was orchestrated for him and he stepped on charm. Leg became very swollen and on one of those days, he said he was coming in here for his service with his mother and while they just stepped in through the main entrance, God's servant was on the altar here making declarations that there is someone that has stepped on a charm. He heard it right as he was stepping in. And he rushed forward amongst other people. Hands were laid on him from that day till forever. He said that was the end of that satanic arrow. Went back to hell. Again, he said in his third year, he's a student um, studying political science, he said. In his third year, he had a complication with one of his lecturers, and the lecturer told him he was never going to pass his course. He said he didn't know what he did. He engaged sermons preached by God's servant and began to pray brutally. And one of those days, he mustered um, courage 
to go and meet with the lecturer and talk with him man to man. Yes. Oh, you think he's a boy? Man to man. So while he said, while he got to the lecturer's office, he had these encounters, had prayed, listened to messages, decked himself with, um, with power, and got to the lecturer's office. The lecturer and told him why he was there actually. The lecturer said, why are you here? I thought you were here a while ago and we had talked these matters over. Your guess is as good as mine that there was a visitation and the matter was settled without him physically meeting the lecturer. However God did it, using whose, whomever's face, the matter was resolved and he passed that course without sorting anybody. Mysteries are real and miracles are real. He's here today to give God praise for that visitation on his way to graduation. Congratulations, Samuel Odi. Yes, sir, your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Pastor Chine Dungwaneli, and this is my wife, Christiana. Uh, we connected to this ministry first through the worship. Um, when we, we heard the songs, it was like songs from heaven. So from there, we followed programs. Um, fast forward to 2018, after the dedication of the Glory Dome, I was preparing for personal uh, personal, you know, kind of, you know, I just want to have retreat. So um, as I was asking where I could go to retreat, I heard the Lord say, go to my garden, the lost garden, and I'll meet you there. So I asked my family, we, we live in Lagos, so I moved into Abuja, we lodged in a hotel, so in the morning I will come off here, and I'll pray from morning to evening. Sometimes I walk around the tabernacle. So one of the days I was praying around the glory gate and I saw people running. So when I looked up, I saw it was God's servant, the, the senior pastor. So I kind of rushed towards to him too and he asked me what the matter was. And I couldn't even say much. I told him, God asked, the Lord asked me to come and pray here. So he tapped my shoulder here and said, that's right. And entered his car and went. So when I went to the hotel, uh, I saw an angel with his face blowing on my face, my forehead. And I found there was spiritual vitality of a higher dimension in my life. So that, is, that is number one encounter. Fast forward to 2023, 20, um, my wife told me that she had an encounter. She saw the, the Lord's handmaiden and the senior pastor that they came to the house. They were asking her, where is your husband? And I wasn't there. So in my mind, I was like angry. Why shouldn't, why shouldn't I be here when they came? So I said, you know what? We're going to International Ministers Framing Fire Conference. That was August 22nd to 27th. So we came, we lodged in the hotel. And after the whole program, so we just say, how can we even see him? We don't even know the process. So we went to the reception to ask. After asking for the reception, they gave us the process. On my way going out, I saw God's servant and the Lord's family, they were just coming in. So, and I knelt down. He asked me what the issue was. I told him he prayed for me and I was on the ground. When I woke up, I found he was still talking with people. I rushed to him and said, can I go and bring my wife on the car? Because they were waiting for me in the car to make inquiries. So he said, yes. And I went and brought them. He laid hand on them. And things have changed dramatically since then. Things have changed drastically. Everything about ministry has changed. Um, you tell us. So, on the 23rd of January, during the commanded midnight prayers, so the word came from his servant that there are people that have abandoned projects some 15 years, some 12 years, so, seven. some 7 years, some 4 years. I, I was in 7 year category. Actually, I was building a duplex in my village. I built a bungalow before, I built that within five months. So duplex, I was thinking like within one year, I could finish that. This thing dragged seven years. When I gather the money to build the house, the money will scatter, my health will be failing. So when the word came, and God's servant said, within 24 hours, God will clear the way for you. 
So within that 24 hours, I took up the phone, I called the construction team, I called a pastor team, I called the, the logistics. Everybody said they were ready. On Friday, they moved to site. And my plan was for them to do the assessment. But when they got there, the hand of God was upon the construction team. They have never left the site. The house has got to roofing level. When I go back this time, I'm going to roof the house. They didn't leave the site because money didn't stop flowing from his pocket as well. And that word was released on the 23rd of January. He said, what is left now is to put a roof cover over it and project uh, progress onto completion. And they have come all the way from Lagos to give God all the praise and all the glory. Congratulations, Pastor. Yes, your name and what God. Okay, just a minute. We'll have that declaration there. Give us the audio. Yes, there's another one that has been there for 12 years. Another one has been there on fire. I see an unfinished project, a building, a construction. It has been there for 15 years. There's another one that has been there for 12 years. Another one has been there for seven years. Another one has been there for four years. I see grass in the, in the middle. One is a bungalow and then a duplex. I prophesy today, whatever it is that tied that project down, this is a sign to you that Jehovah God is moving it forward under the next 24 hours by Thursday this week there will be a relay shaga. there will be a release that will move that project to the next level in the name of Jesus 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 I on fire go ahead give the Lord a praise that prophecy is still current for somebody whose project is abandoned, it shall be completed in Jesus' name. Praise God. I'm blessing Jonathan. Firstly, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I don't take it for granted. I want to thank God. I encountered our daddy in the Lord in my revolution. That faithful day in the revolution, I saw daddy coming with children in my business place and i was going down just a minute you have jumped a very critical point she started a business how much did you start the business and all that i started the okay business that is okrika second hand clothes i started it with two just two thousand era i will go to the market pick from people that open bail i will come and display in my shop so that faithful day, I encountered Daddy in the revelation, and Daddy sights me from afar, and he called me by name, that blessing, come, I look back, and he called me, that where is your shop? I was so ashamed of taking Daddy to my shop, because the shop was somehow <laughs> like one or two clothes. I was like taking Daddy to this kind of place, and I took him there, and Daddy looked at my business, and he's like, Daddy said, what you have seen so far is just a finger of God. That from today you are going to see the hand of God in your business. I say, Amen. And I woke up. And that was not enough. The third day, mommy came again in my revelation. And she came. And she prayed, prayed as in pray for me, pray from her heart and bless my business. And she was about leaving. She gave me a bunch of key. And she told me that this is the key to your destiny. And I collected the key and I said, Amen. That was how it started. That very week, I that normally pick from people, I opened bail that week. The following week, not one bail, three bail in a week. And that was how God started it. From that same business to the glory of God, God has blessed my family with the landed property. I cannot take it for granted. I've come to return all glory to God. From 2000 Naira business, the finger of God turned into the hand of God. And today she's a property owner in Abuja. And business still still striving. Give Jesus a big hand of praise for the diligence. Above only... My name is Pastor Smans Balogun from Portacot. 
I'm here to testify of the goodness of the Lord upon my life. On December 5th, 2023, I connected to Dunamis TV from Port Harcourt. My father died of stomach pain. He died of uh, partial intestinal obstruction. My mother died of stomach pain. She died of rectal malignancy. And my elder sister died of stomach pain. She died of ovarian cysts. In short, my father and my mother was operated the same day. My mother was in the hospital from there. They called me. It was that bad. It was that bad. So, um, the same order of affliction came on you. All right? Yes, all right. So, take it from there. So, the same affliction was troubling my life. So, that's in, that December 5th, Papa preached a message, Captivity, Tony, Power of Praise. And after the message, he asked us to dance for eight minutes. And I obeyed the instruction and I danced for eight minutes. After the dancing, I said to God, whatever has been eating me from inside, killing me slowly, let it come out today. And I fell asleep. As I was sleeping, I saw my mother in the Lord in the dream. I was walking on the way. And he pointed me and he said, vomit that thing. And I was vomiting screws, bolts, and knots in the dream. So our mommy was laughing. He now ran to call Papa and said, come and look at your son. That has spare parts in his stomach. He's vomiting bolts and knots. So Papa now drove in, our father now drove in with speed. He said, son, something is remaining there. Vomit it out. And I vomited dead hornets, insects, and all manner of things. And I vomited them out. And before that day, I used to see my father in the dream. He's telling me that whatever I'm doing, I should hurry up, that I don't have time. That I should do things in the hurry. So after I vomited that day, from... Hurry up and catch up with them in the realm of the dead. That was what he said. Yes. And after that day, the eternity, that stomach pain has shepherd to her. I don't use fan before now. I can use fan. It, it, when sun is shining, I'll be feeling cold in my heart. So I don't drink cold water. I can drink cold water now. I don't even sweat. I'm jealous when I see people sweating. But that day, I saw sweat all over my bed. I was sweating and I can do the thing that I cannot do before. Even sweating was a luxury. Today, his life has been revamped. No longer sees dead father beckoning on him and he has come to give God praise on this altar where God delivered him. Give the Lord a praise. Come, Pastor. There are times where when we get the detail of what happened, it shows us the extent to which God intervened. So you say when your mother was in the hospital, they were operated the same day. What happened? same time when my mother was operated the doctor said my father no they cannot diagnose what's wrong with him so they have to go inside and do a slap to see what is wrong with him but he died in the process he died sir. so yes. that's to show us exactly yes. what level of demonic wickedness yes. mother, mother father the same day yes. died on operation yes. my mother died a few months after a few months after sister yes. died of abdominal condition yes, sir. And they were talking of abdominal condition. Meanwhile, it was bowls and nuts, spare parts. Insects and cockroaches and demons that were inside. The, the same thing must have been inside the father. They call it rectal cancer. The same thing was inside the mother. They called it... No, your father was intestinal obstruction? Yes, sir. Father was what? Yes, sir. My, my, my mother, rectal malignancy. Rectal malignancy. That is cancer in the rectum. Father was intestinal obstruction. In the dream, doctor told me why I did not go to hospital in the physical. In the dream, I went to hospital. Doctor said that I have to carry colostomy bag in the dream. So I just advised that myself. means that is another cancer. Yes. Colost uh, colon cancer is to carry. Do you understand what I'm saying? That was the pattern, but Jehovah broke the pattern. I speak to somebody here today. Every evil pattern in your father's house, every evil pattern in your life, every evil pattern in your lineage, I declare that pattern is broken. The pattern is broken. The pattern is broken. You are saying to me, say louder, amen. The Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So we key into testimony for prophecies. Do you understand? What prophecy is coming out of here? What killed your father cannot kill you. What killed your mother cannot kill you. What is killing, what killed people in your family cannot kill you. In the name of Jesus. 
So shall it be. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat. Congratulations. Yes, your name and what God did for you. Praise the Lord. My name is Miss Christiana Godwin. I've come to appreciate God for what God did for me in my life and my family. Before I got married, I went into a relationship. No, I was not, I was not really getting what I want. So, 2017, I was a Boko. I heard that Daddy was coming to Boko for a program. There, I was not a member of this commission, and I made up my mind to go to the program. So, when I went to the program, I was not even having any prayer requests. I just said, "Let me go." So when I got there, that immediately in mass, the people he declared that somebody, a lady that is here, that maleta air bag that is placed on you, I declare that air bag is lifted in Jesus' name. I, fought, I saw myself on the floor. So when I got to that, he said, in the dream of the night, you have a revelation, you wake up in a counter. That night, I saw myself in the thick forest. Me and before them, my brother traveled out. He could not get paper. He was just there. You could not move around. You were just on a particular place. So that it became a concern. We were praying. So in that revelation, I saw myself, my brother, like a baby. They just tie us together like this. I saw my late sister. She's late now. In that thick forest. She's not saying, Christy, you see what they tell you? Say, you're not going to marry. You are up. Immediately, she untied it. People were jubilating, celebration, that revelation. So when I wake up that morning, my brother called me that they are giving paper to him. Since that day to today, he's freely moving about. So 2018, I got married to the glory of God. After then, I, God blessed me with two children. Then 2022, I conceived. After five months, I had sick birth. Then 2023, I gave birth to a baby that did not last there for 24 hours. And I told my husband, that I don't want to give birth again. Let me rest for a little. So a little did I know that 20, 2014, this year, I was already pregnant with a be pregnancy. That almost, in fact, I die, I wake up. It was just the mercy of God that saw me through. During the February worship world that was last night, we were not having lights. I was watching with my cell phone. After the commander did measure as the baby commanded, they say the commander did they will take a little bit letter to if you don't have data, that God should empower you, empower you with data. I claim amen. I was just laughing. So after the commander did they I slept. I didn't even know when I slept. It was that this voice I heard for a distance when I wake up, brethren. I could not understand myself, could not move my leg, move my hand. I was well, the place I was standing there, I would put that with there. When I called my husband, my husband, my wife said, ah, what is the problem? I said, I don't know. Immediately, we go to the hospital that morning. After the car was hotel, they say it's uh, ulcer with uh, malaria. They were treating, literally, they didn't know they were treating something that is not the sickness or something. Go position it to the hospital for me not to die. That was Sunday the night. The sickness became worse. That night, my blood had... So, the diagnosis, eventually, they detected that she had a topic pregnancy. And she was wheeled into the theater for a surgery. While in that state, she said she had blanked off. Of course, she didn't know what was happening anymore. In that realm, God's servant appeared to her and told her, daughter, what did he tell you precisely? He said, daughter, I'm here with you. You are here, you are whole. You come back and come and share your testimony. How God bring you back to life. Nobody can take you before your time. I will not leave your children for anybody. That was the realm of the dead, actually. And that was how God refunded her back by his mercy and the unction that walk on this altar back into her body and God told her to come to Abuja. She came actually from Benue State yesterday. Come to Abuja and share the testimony, testimonies of what God has done in her life. And she's standing here alive and well with her husband and also with her children to live many more years of fulfillment. Congratulations, sister. Go ahead and let's give the Lord a prayer. What shall we say? Unto the Lord, all we have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall we say unto the Lord? All we have to say is thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, all we have to say is thank you, Lord. What shall we say? to the Lord all we have to say is thank you Lord. your hands what shall we say unto the Lord all we have to say is thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Lord all we have to say is thank you Lord what shall we say unto the Lord What shall we say unto the Lord? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. All we have.
to say is thank you, Lord. Please lift up your hands and let's appreciate the Lord. Father, we are so grateful to you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for these testimonies that we've heard today and the testimonies we hear all the time. We are extremely grateful and we return all the praise and the glory to you in Jesus' name. Please, you may be comfortably seated this morning. I'd like to welcome you to this time in God's presence. It's quite overwhelming, the acts of God in our midst, and we give God all the praise and all the glory. That gentleman was delivered from an ancestral witchcraft covenant of death. That's what in medical practice they'll say um, uh, diseases that run in the lineage or something like that. You know, they're asking for family history. And the, he, if he had gone to the hospital, then they would have taken the family history. Uh, looks like the father's intestinal obstruction was a cancer somewhere. And then something, the mother was erectile cancer. The sister, another abdominal condition. And then definitely, if he now presented with an abdominal condition, they'd have been quick to make a diagnosis of another cancer on him. But God delivered him. Any devil that has followed you from your ancestral lineage, every satanic limitation, every satanic prognosis, every satanic cycle that has operated in your family line, today we stand on the authority of the word of God and we neutralize it, we nullify it, we render them null and void in the name of Jesus. They shall not see the light of day. If you are a believer, you shout aloud, Amen. Like God's servant says all the time, what killed your father shall not kill you. What killed your mother shall not kill you. What killed your relation shall not kill you. If you are a believer, you shout aloud, Amen. A young lady was in the delivery room. She was being delivered of twins. And suddenly, she, um, there was preeclampsia. The blood pressure was going up. And then they had to take her into the theater. And while in the theater, she started going. The doctor stopped the cesarean section operation to resuscitate her back to life. Turned her on her side, did everything. And all she could do, she couldn't talk again. She wasn't talking again. She said, she shall not die like her mother died. Her mother died in childbirth. The mother had three children delivering the fourth one the mother died they grew up without mother till they became adults and she said it from what she had heard on this altar i announce to you today as that girl that lady was delivered you shall not die the death of your mother you shall not die the death of your father you shall not suffer the diseases of your family lineage if you believe it shout a loud amen as soon as she made that declaration, she came back to life. Babies were delivered. She's alive and well with two baby boys, twins boys, and she didn't die the death of her mother. God is in this house, and the things you are hearing are for your life, for your preservation, for your prosperity, and for the help of God in your life in the name of Jesus. Let me do what I came up to do. Our Seeds of Destiny today is titled Satan's Foothold. I'd like to welcome every one of us online viewers and those of us in the house. We have quite a number of people here from outside Abuja who are still around from the meeting we had yesterday for Sons of the Prophets and we celebrate all of you. We believe you are going back with the power and the anointing and the grace of God that was dropped on you from this meeting yesterday in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Acts chapter 19 and in verse 15, Jesus, I know, Paul, I know, but who are you? The topic today is um, Satan's stronghold, thought for the day. Every sinful act or behavior attracts the devil to you and makes you jeopardize your eternity with God. Many years ago, as students on the campus burning for the Lord, we usually embarked on evangelistic outreaches. And one day, God's servant said that his, our, uh, his team in the medical school went out to a psychiatric ward to evangelize and pray for the sick. 
They met an insane person who saw one of uh, our sisters there, a member of the team, and they violently confronted her. The mad person said to her, others came here to preach, and you also came with them? You see, the kingdom of darkness was aware of who she was. By implication, the devil had seen something in her that made her unfit to come and preach to them at that point in time. A similar scenario also played out in scripture almost 2,000 years before. where While the sons of Sceva wanted to cast out uh, an evil spirit from someone, the evil spirit confronted them. He said, Jesus I know. And Paul, I know, but who are you? Acts 19, 15. This means the kingdom of darkness is aware of who you are. I mean, who you really are. Beloved, the kingdom of darkness hears something from the lives of Christians. Someone may say, I'm born again, I'm a born again Christian, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. But the kingdom of darkness may hear something else. From the person's life. What the kingdom of darkness hears from that life may be fornication, cheating, lying, smoking, drinking, womanizing, backbiting, unforgiveness, cheating, seduction, malice, and so on and so forth. The list goes on. Beloved, what does the kingdom of darkness hear from your life. The truth is, if you cannot end in heaven, the truth is, you cannot end in heaven if what Satan hears from you is a negative lifestyle of sin. Every sinful act or behavior attracts the devil to you and makes you jeopardize your eternity with God. While you give yourself to a lifestyle of sin, you attract the presence and the attention of the devil to your life. And you cannot end in heaven when iniquity is found in you. Beloved, the question is, what does Satan hear about your life? What has given the devil a foothold in your life? What is that lifestyle in you? that usually attracts the attention of Satan to discredit you always. Please, make up your mind to adjust your life. Make up your mind to rededicate your life to God today. Make up your mind to make your ways right with God today. And you have that opportunity to do that this morning. I'll be calling up God's servant to pray with us or pray with you to ensure that things are right between you and God. You are here this morning and you want to say, I'm not the biggest sinner. It's not anything too serious. But I know that me and God, we are not really on the same plate right now. You know that if the rapture takes place now, you are not certain that you will make it to eternity in heaven. You know there's something wrong. Or maybe you are held in the grip of sin. Struggling with immorality. Struggling with addiction. Struggling with things that make you do the wrong thing all the time. And you want to say, Pastor, pray for me today. I don't want to continue this way. You heard some of the testimonies. They were identified in the realm of the Spirit as children of God and the angel of the commission went into their situation and brought them out does God know you does he really recognize you you might attend church you might attend services but you know that your life is not right with God this morning, I'd like to give you the opportunity to make things right with God. Anywhere you are, I'd like you to pick up your bag, 
pick up your Bible, just stand up on your feet right where you are, and we're going to pray today. You want to say, Pastor, I don't want to continue the life I am living. I want Jesus to forgive me my sins. Anywhere you are, please stand up on your feet and let's pray. If the rapture takes place now, I know I'm not going to be able to make it to heaven. I don't want to waste my time on earth and then end up in an eternity in hellfire. I heard a, a, a joke the other day. Say, oh, the weather is so hot. Did somebody die and go to hell and forgot to close the door after him? Hell is not a place to go. Heaven is the place for us. I see you standing with your bags and your Bible. Can you step forward here? Let me pray together with you Stand and let God to come. Come forward and listen to you. Come give your life to Jesus Christ. Pick your Bibles, pick your bags. Rush to the front. Be the first person to come. Go ahead. Quickly, 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 quickly. Carry your Bibles, carry your bags, and rush to the front. Give your life to Jesus. Let's go. Take me, Lord, and use me, Lord, as an instrument of love. Let me be acceptable. Let me be pleasing to you. There's one reason I'm alive, and that is to live for you. Nothing else is worth the while. Nothing else is viable. Say, Lord, I want to know. Lord, I want to see your face. Lord, I want to see your face. Lord, I want to do your Lord, I want to live for you. Lord, I want to know you, Lord. Lord, I want to see your face, Lord. I want to do your will. Lord, I want to live for you. Lord, I want to live for you. I have just one life. I have just one life to live. And it must glorify you. And it must glorify you. I am yours, O Lord, in time and for all eternity. I have just one life to live, and it must glorify and it must glorify you. I am yours, O Lord, in time and for all eternity. Lord, I want to. Lord, I want to do your will. I want to live for you. Lord, I want to live for Lord, you. I want to know you. Lord, I want to know you. I want to give all my life for Lord, you. I want to see I want to do your will, Lord. I want to do your will. I want to live for you, Lord. I want to live for you. I have just one life. And it was the Lord in time and for all eternity. And for all eternity. I have just one life. I have just one life to live. And it must glorify you, Lord. And it was the Lord in time and for all eternity. You have an addiction you are battling with. Smoking, alcoholism, Indian hemp, masturbation, prostitution, lesbianism, gambling, fraud. And you are saying, Pastor, I'm not a bad person, but I'm bound by this lifestyle. I want the yoke broken. And I want to be free today. I don't want to be a slave of any of these habits. Stand up on your feet and quickly come forward as well. Carry your Bible and bags and rush to the front. I'll give you another count of 10. Or oh, you have come out like this before, but you are rising and falling, rising and falling, going back to the world. Stand up on your feet. Go ahead. Take a faster song now. In the name of Jesus, rush forward. One. Goodbye, world. Two. Stay no longer with you. Goodbye, Three. Of sin. I stay no longer with you. Carry your Bibles back and forth. To go God's way the rest of my Three. life. 
I made up my mind to go God's way the rest of my life. Say goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye, girl. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go God's way. I made up my mind. Seven. Oh, that's great. The rest of the Say goodbye, life. goodbye, goodbye, world. Eight. Goodbye, world. I stay no longer with you. Nine. Goodbye, pleasures I say. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to go that way. The rest of my life. I made up my mind to go that way. The rest of my life. Place your hand on your chest. Pray this after me and mean it from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I'm a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life and wash away my sins. Today, I acknowledge that I need your help. Jesus, Forgive me all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please you, O oh Lord. I will live to glorify you every single day of my life. From today, in Jesus' name. Today. I am now born again. Jesus is now the Lord of my life. In Jesus' name. I pray for you today. I ask that the hold of the enemy be broken off your life. Grace to live for God. Be broken. Grace to live for God. Be released. Everything that is not of God in your life today. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray for addiction. There's something you are addicted to and you want Jesus to set you free from it. I'd like you to lay your finger on your tongue. We're just using it as a point of contact. Many of the things um, are fleshly and your tongue is the most unruly part of your body. If it's under control, your whole body is under control. So place your finger on your tongue and say this after me. Jesus, I ask that you touch my life from my tongue to every part of my body to my dopamine center in my brain I declare every addiction you are now broken I am now born again Jesus is now the Lord of my life addiction your hold is now broken from my life in Jesus name call the name of the addiction addiction to alcohol addiction to smoking to drinking to pornography to lesbianism to immorality to whatever just name it I declare your hold is broken I declare the taste dies I declare Indian hem is nauseous and I'll never take it again. LSD, whatever it is, I declare my freedom. In Jesus' name. Sir, you pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over our addictions. The yoke of addiction is broken. The agenda of hell is broken. In Jesus' precious name. The last time you desired it shall be the last forever. The appetite dies. The taste dies. In Jesus' precious name. Now lift up your hands, every one of us. Next thing we are going to do is to get filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the seal of our redemption. The Holy Spirit coming upon you empowers you to live the Christian life. Empowers your prayer life. The Holy Spirit and graces you to do what you are meant to do. 
Some of you who are not yet filled with the Holy Ghost, maybe if you pray for one minute, two minutes, you don't know what to say again. But when you are filled with the Holy Ghost, you can pray for one hour, 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, just praying in tongues, praying in the Spirit, and you are energized to defeat the devil. Now, you have given your life to Christ. Jesus is already in your life. What he wants to do is to cause the Holy Spirit that has a deposit in you already to come out of your mouth and then speak in a language that we call praying the Holy Ghost or praying in tongues. Now, you are not doing what you are going to do as soon as I say in the name of Jesus, receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. You will open your mouth and begin to speak. The words that God puts in your mouth that come across your mind, just let it go. You may not understand what it means now, but when they teach you in the class, you will understand later. Somebody say amen. When it is time to pray, ensure that you are praying not in the English language or in your own language, but in the language of the Spirit that God will put in your mind or that will come through your mouth. Lift up your hands right now and say after me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For your presence. For your presence. In my life. In my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I receive, I receive the, baptism the baptism of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit with, the with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues. Thank, you, Lord, Thank you, Lord, for baptizing me for with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. And right now, and right I, receive I receive the fullness, the fullness of, the Spirit, of the Spirit, the baptism, the baptism of, the of the Holy Ghost, the release. The of, the of the spirit with the evidence, with the evidence of speaking with tongues speaking with now. Tongues. Now. 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 now now lift your hands in the name of Jesus receive the Holy Ghost now open your mouth and pray 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 that's right that's right that's right la <laughs> Pray, 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 pray. In Jesus precious name. Amen. I can see literally everybody is filled, but lift your hands one more time. And say again, say, Father, Father I, receive I receive the infilling the infilling of the Holy Spirit, the, Holy Spirit. the fire Father. of the Spirit, of the Spirit. With, the with the evidence of speaking in tongues. Speaking now, can we all stand up on our feet? This is the time for those who are already filled with the Holy Ghost to recharge their spiritual fire and recharge the power of the Spirit in your life. Lift your hands and say, Father, Father. I, receive I receive. That's right. The fire, fire of the spirit happened the there with the evidence, the evidence of speaking, of speaking with, tongues. with tongues. Fresh fire, fresh, fire. fresh, fire. fresh grace, fresh, fresh oil. Fresh oil. I, receive. I receive. Now, now. lift your hands, receive. Open your mouth, pray. Open your mouth, and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Help her, help her there. Pray, 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 pray. pray. in Jesus precious name congratulations how many of you receive that power of the Holy Ghost wave your hand let me see excellent father thank you A number of people we saw you coming out look uh, you know assisted i'd like you to check yourself now because the healing power of god 
as that Holy Ghost came on you, came on you as well. You cannot feel the pain. You can walk without that crutch. Anywhere you are, you can move. Come, come, come closer this way. You came in here with an affliction. You can't feel it again. Lift up your hands. Let's see. You can't feel it again. You can't feel it again. You too. You too. Praise the Lord. Pastors, can you just help us take one or two testimonies? You came in, you, you had an affliction, you had a pain, you had um, some, something was wrong with you, and you cannot feel it again. Wave your hand, let me see. Very quickly, just one, two, and then they will go over, and the counselors will have some session with them. Your neck. Said he hardly sleeps at night, terrible pain on that neck and the back, oppression at night. He said he came into service with that pain, couldn't turn that neck. Wow. Nice and now you can turn it. After the Holy Ghost came on you, are you excited? So now you are saved, you can speak in tongues, and you are healed. Congratulations. Come forward, lift up your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, this healing is permanent. Jesus name yes, sister Monica here says since last year she um she had this arrow from her waist down yes with pain excruciating pain couldn't bend, you couldn't bend. whenever she sleeps to wake up is a challenge and but after yes she can do all yes, of that the pain is gone so eager. Let, let the me pain take. is gone all right Ben let's see do what you couldn't do you couldn't do that you couldn't do that since last year. Yes. Lift up your hands. Father, thank you for this healing. We declare it is permanent. In Jesus' name, out of this knees, you are healed. In Jesus' name. What happened to baby? Like autism. autism. Hey, he's not autistic. He's showing me his hand. He said he's okay. He's calm now. Sir, autism just got healed. Incredible. Go and greet daddy. He's so calm. He's so calm. Climb up. Go and greet him. daddy. Oh, wow. Use How your right you? hand. Good. How are you? <laughs> Autistic What's child, you know right hand. What's your name? Thank What's your you, name? Master. What's it's your name? Pretty. What's your name? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Father, thank you because it is done. What is his name? What's his name? What's his name? It's my sister's child, yeah. What's his name? What is his name? Okay, Chukudubim. Uh, Chukudubim. 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 Very important to know the name of the child you are telling. Chukudubim. He's not my son. Chukudubim. Oh. This is the mother. Okay, you are the mother. Okay, it is well. Father, thank you. He's healed for the healing of the child from autistic affliction. Brain is normal. Jesus Mental name. development normal. Amen. Jesus name. Sister Rose also um, got healed of a lower abdominal pain that has lasted for three weeks. So Thursday this morning, so I, I said, let me call me and consult God. That was the reason why I so came. She came, for she came to consult. In God's house. <laughs> now she's healed. You have it? Three weeks. Three weeks. Lift up your hands. Father, this pain is over for us. Power! Jesus' name. Help her. Help her. Our brother came here depressed because of his situation. He said, while our senior pastor declared that we should pray in tongues, he fell under, he began to pray in tongues, got the baptism of the Holy Ghost, and immediately depression disappeared. Depression. He so came depression depressed. And you are over. delivered in Jesus' name. Lift up your hands, all of you. Father, thank you. <laughs> Lower abdomen, abdominal pain that has lasted for two years, Amen. gone right now. Hallelujah. It's over forever. Pregnisolone that I normally take. For so what? Have... what? Pregnisolone for what? Oh, my sternal gravis. Yes, man. I came in here limping with serious pain. And today when I came out, I, I, I'm not feeling any pain again. You can't feel any pain no, again. Ma, the masternal ma. gravis too is healed. Amen. You go back and they'll confirm it. Amen. In Jesus' name. Power of God. Amen. You are free. In Jesus' name. It's over. In Jesus' ma, name. Ma, this Lift lady came... Like insanity, she had this movement on her head. Movement on the, on head. the head. While the prayer was on, that checked up. She was in school. Going to die. Hold on. 
I've been hearing voices. And then they will make me want to run away because my elder brother also, like, he committed suicide. Oh, and no. then it, and my dad also died premature, though it was through an accident. We were in the same car. And then I was in school in Meduguri. They had to go and pick me up because the reaction, they were like burning fires. Everything inside my body, the cells of my body were going on and off. And then I would be hearing voices. I will be seeing smokes. And then it was as if I was out of place, like I will be there, but I'm not there. I was ma, ma, like ma, wa, all of that had been on. While the prayer was on, she said that movement on the head like a serpent just went it off. Felt the movement on the head that was like a serpent just it was, it was no longer just, moving. Yes, you, you yes, it is. Leave. And the scales that used to come up on my skin to cause goosebumps, I didn't feel them. The scales also fell off. Yes. Come this way. Father, in the name of Jesus, this arrow premature death and the spirit of insanity is over forever out go come back no more enter into nobody anyone here with the spirit of depression the other man depression she insanity depression fear in the name of jesus we declare that arrow is arrested today in the name of jesus we declare you shall live you shall fulfill your days you shall not die before your time in the name of jesus christ Heart disease got healed by God's power just Heart now. He said he was recommended to go to India for to surgery. India. So and how do now, you know you if I come here, I will live so I can feel the pain oh anymore. My he God. cannot feel the pain and anymore. You came and the pain is permanent, Jesus. Oh my God. You said when you come to Dunamis so today. I believe. I believe that when I come here today, I will be healed. And I won't go to India for the treatment again. Amen. And now the pain is gone. The pain is all gone. Father, thank you for this healing. Thank you for a brand new heart for this man. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we give you glory. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Not... So you go back to the hospital and let them check you. And then you come in. Um, will the hospital work today or tomorrow? Okay, after the break. So by Sunday... Because there will be work on Friday and Saturday. So on Sunday, you come in here and testify with the lab results showing that your heart is normal. Congratulations. Go and come back with your testimony. Yes. Another movement on the head just arrested. It's gone. It's over forever. In Jesus' name. Let's, let's go. Cancel out. You can go with them. And then we want to close on time today. So you go with them. Quickly have some chat with them. And then they'll come back to their seats and um, all that. Meanwhile, let's receive Dunami's voice as they take us in a session of worship. They'll be ministering songs. These are all songs received and written by God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. Let's receive Dunami's voice with a clap offering. Let me pray, she has already. Thank you. 
destroyed in this climate burdens are lifted ancestral curses are broken generational patterns are scattered unclean spirits check out evil presence what my father in heaven has not planted in your life they are brutal lift your hands up You are my Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. And you are my everything to the Lord. It's your hazard. When I say in the name of Jesus, what God has brought for you here today, you are going to receive and you scream and receive. And you place your hand on your head in the name of Jesus. I want to say one, two, three. Cycles will be broken. Ha! I see the serpent checking out right now. That's right. Get out of that body. I see that serpentine devil. I see that torment, that ancestral altar catching fire. Man shut the spirit of paralysis being roasted and arrested. Let us see that guy at alone. I see a change of story. I see a shifting level. Lift your hands everywhere you are. When I say in the name of Jesus, one, two, three, you scream, I receive. And you place the hands on your head and begin to blast in tongues. Father, let it be released. Let the fire be released. In the name of Jesus, one, two, and three. Receive. Oh, my God. 
Say the name of Jesus, you scream, receive again at the top of your voice. Patterns, negative patterns be broken. Cancers are dying. Spirits of barrenness are arrested, returning to hell. Spirit husbands, violent, demonic spirit husbands are returning to hell. Serpentine altars are catching fire, and the serpents are going out. Masquerade devils are going out. All forms of pains are disappearing. Amen. All forms of tumors are melt. Hey! Age long bondage and bondages are breaking. Mashata, when I say the name of Jesus you, and you scream and receive, you place your hand on your head. Beyond that, what you couldn't do before, begin to do. There will be diverse encounters, diverse visitations. What you couldn't do before, begin to do. Father, let it be. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, one, two, and three, I receive. <laughs> Holy, 
Lord. Your name is holy, Lord. For your name is soul. Your name is soul. Holy. Holy, Lord. Your name is holy, Lord. Father, we give you the praise. Lift your hands and worship him. Honor him, adore him. Worship him. Glorify him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Yokes just got broken. Chains got broken. All manner of pains, ulcers gone. Something happened to you. Begin to check yourself. Move your body. Move your back. Move your shoulder. Ah, Masha. Check your hearing. Check your sight. Check the growth. It is gone. Check the lump. Check the growth. Something happened to you. Let me see your hand. Something happened to you just now. You got a divine visitation encounter. Quickly run to the front here and let us see what God did for you. Quickly run to the front here. Except there is uh, somebody watching your bags on your seat. Otherwise, you can cover them. Quickly run to the front here. Something happened to you. You couldn't walk before you can lift your crutch and walk. Check your chest. Check the ulcer. Check the lump in the breast is gone. Check the back. Check the hearing. Check the sight.
viene, viene, viene. And your name is Holy Lord, for your name is Holy Lord. What happened? Papa came here with arthritis of the spine that degenerated for several years now. Recently, he, he started a project in his village where there is no building, feeling that there's no normal no good structure for the family. Since then, the affliction multiplied. Time without what happened now? God, sir, when you came this morning, you cannot stand like this without this walking stick. Wow. And now he can. It is well with you. Amen. Yes. yes. He, there's nothing like him. Um, he could not wear a shoe. shoe by himself. But this morning, yes. he wore this shoe by himself, came here by himself, was able to walk out by himself without the stick. Father, in the and he's straight. Jesus. This is straight compared to how he you was. Stand. This power of the Holy Ghost. Be free. When he stands up, he should walk straight, up straight, like this, to my seat. Straight up. Walk straight to my chair. Straight up. Straight up, sir. Straight up. You are holy. Oh, hey! Fast, 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 fast. He's dancing, oh, dancing, oh. No. You are holy, you are holy, you are holy, you are holy, you are holy. Tell me something. Wadi, 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 la. What are you telling me? Tell me something. Wadi, 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 wadi. Bend to the side, back and side. He's exercising himself. Are you just standing and looking like that? Oh, you're a warrior. One more. Every evil arrow they have fired at you from your father's house or your village is retreated and refired back to hell. Give the Lord a praise. Take your seat, everybody. Baba, sit down. Yes. So these two cases are quite similar. Peptic ulcer disease, peptic ulcer disease. She came in excruciating pains. Can see how her hand is. That's how she came running out for her testimony. As she came in for the service this morning, while all this anointing most fair was going on, the pain just left her and pew, she's totally in order. She had gone to several hospitals, at least she, she calls it the, our, our hospital here. <laughs> and another hospital in town. The different diagnosis and all, but she came in today. The anointing was fair. She's now able to bend, which she couldn't do. And what else? Uh, her waist, her tummy, her back. A healing of this woman's leg. Come. She said. A, a, a deep
demon has been drying up her blood and she was paralyzed on this uh, right leg. Show us how you are dragging the leg before. That's how she was walking before. Show us. Uh -huh. It just disappeared. Walk, walk normal now. She started jumping oh, and... Walk, 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 walk in the light. Oh, walk, 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 walk in the light. Walk, 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 in the light. Walk in the light. Oh, walk, oh, walk, 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 perfect in Jesus name in every enemy affliction in the ears for whatever reason mysterious abdominal undiagnosable abdominal condition for 10 months he stepped out for the altar call he said the power of God came on him something left him he received strength he couldn't stand like this for up to 2-3 minutes he's been standing everyone here today with an ear affliction movement in the ear itching of the ear deafness of the ear whatever is wrong with the ear today I declare it corrected Jesus Jesus hallelujah amen Jesus hallelujah amen Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hey! What's happening there? Find out what happened to that mother. That mother. Hallelujah. 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 One more. Hallelujah. It is so sweet to serve the Lord. Those who, who, who are not serving the Lord, I don't know what they are doing. How they are coping. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. What is happening? Sir, this um, sister, they took her testimony over the healing of her legs and then you began to pray and taking authority over ear condition. Yeah. 
So I asked her, she said, before now, she had um, hearing impediment. So if you are talking, she wouldn't hear you. But after the prayer, the ear popped open. Now she wow. can hear clearly. Wow. Clearly. Wow. Now so God the door. Just like that. Just you like that. about leg and you are talking about hearing. Just like that. You know, if somebody is not seen and, and the eye has a challenge, it's easy to know. It's easy to know. And if somebody has hand problem, but if there is a hearing problem, there is no way to know yes, sir. until God shows it to you. Yes, sir. Every door that is closed in your life today, open in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The God who opened this step here opens your closed doors. Tell me what happened here. So this mama had had uh, a hip condition for countless number of years. The daughter could not really remember how long. She couldn't walk. They had to assist her on both sides to walk. She also had a eye problem. She was operated upon for cataract. And the eye has refused to see clearly. But right now, when you prayed, she got a miracle. She can now walk on the legs. And then the eye can see better She's than she can. She's eye can see. Leg can walk, I can see. Don't do that. Don't do that. Everybody, everybody, are you together? He opens the location. He has opened the door for me. Everybody, body, body, was sing. I am starting to my city of open door. I am, 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 is my ear of open? Is my open door? Is my open? Ay 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 in my open door, Lord, I've come to my open door. What's happening? Yes, sir. Amazing. This girl. She says since she was small, and she's twelve. Yes, yeah, she's very big now. She's twelve years old now. Very big now. So let's say give and take 10, 11 years. She, the eyes. This is the biggest opening her eyes has ever opened wow her grandmother said grandmother right yes. grandmother said when she woke up even this morning the eyes were shut shut when she wakes up in the morning the eyes totally closed and she can't see wow. pain excruciating pain oh, no. red and tearing in the night, they cry. In the night she they cry because of the pain in the eyes she came into the service today sir in that anoint atmosphere these are tears of joy. She's so happy. So grateful to God. So grateful to God. Give us and the eye that was shut, the eyelid that was shut, open. Both eyelids, and she can see now. The pain is gone. But it's a lifted at Calvary. 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 Burdens are lifted at Calvary. She has suffered. Jesus is very near. Are you with her? No. Her own eyes, too. Where's your glasses? She's almost about to cry. Yes. In, in, a, in compassion in, for yeah, the for neighbor. This, for the, it's okay, it's okay. If your body suffers pain and your health you can't regain. And your hope is almost sinking in despair. But Jesus knows the way you feel. He can help. He can save. 
Take your burdens to the Lord. Leave it there. It's well with you. If your body is on fast pain, and your head you can't regain, and your hope is almost sinking in this pain, Jesus knows the way you feel. He can help and he can save. Take your burdens to the Lord. If your body is your body off and spin, and your heart you can trigger, and your hope is almost sinking in despair. Jesus knows the way you feel. He can help and he can save. Take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. Leave it there, leave it there. Take your bodies to the Lord and leave it there. If you trust and never doubt, He will surely bring you out. Take your bodies to the Lord. Leave it there. Congratulations. What happened to her? In her own case, also from when she was small, she's also small big now. All of them now. are very big now. Yeah. Sorry, baby. Sorry. She's been using these glasses. Where are they? Very Long thick. Ago. Very thick. This minus one. She doesn't know. But you can see the magnification. That can you see how thick it is? Since she was seven. Using glasses since she was seven. That is for the last six years. And, and now, today. she's seen clearly. I checked, I tested her. Oh, she can see everything from happening in the screen real. there without the glasses. She Your came out for this testimony. It's cancelled. It's cancelled. Okay, your mom, your dad, and two brothers came. So we'll see you and your mom and dad. So that what they have been telling you can be cancelled. In Jesus' name, it is cancelled. Lift your hands. I take authority over every enemy hold on this child. Oh, Jesus' name. The name. Oh, leave her body alone, her life alone. In the name of Jesus. Because he lives, I am facing tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. And because I know he holds my future, my life is worth. The living just because he lives. Let's go. Because he lives. There's a double barrel testimony here. Come. I confess tomorrow. Because he lives. Our sister here has been diagnosed to have uh, oesophagus cancer. Oesophageal cancer? Oesophagus. Osophagial, that's how we call it. Osophagial Thank you, sir. cancer. Thank you, sir. Right. Yeah. Osophagial cancer. Cancer of the esophagus, that's still okay. Thank you, sir. Now, her friend invited her to the U.S. Reaching U.S. to see how she can be helped in the U.S. Reaching U.S., the U.S. government says she cannot be treated until she returns back to Nigeria to obtain medical insurance. And she came. Within the time she was in Nigeria, she went to the hospital. The hospital said they, they, her condition has gotten to a level she can't, they can't attend to her. Now her friend invited her to the service this morning. Reaching here at the shout of I receive, she could do what she couldn't do. She could bend, she could swallow, speed easily with ease. All the associated pain, gone. Now her, her friend here that wait, invited... Wait, wait. 
Okay, go ahead. Osophageal cancer, just like that. All right, go ahead. Her friend, her friend here that invited are actually their sisters. The three of them got a miracle in the course of the service. Hola? Yes, sir. Her friend here that invited her, she says she has been diabetic. Even this morning, she we on her husband. Oh, no. This morning. Oh, we no. on her husband. Oh, she, no. she go to the convenient at the interval of 10 minutes. Oh, no. And since she has been in the service, she has not gone anywhere. At all. At all. Are you just sitting hey, 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 hey. Sophia cancer gone. Diabetes is for how long? The diabetes for how long? Last year, June. Gone. And then? No. She's, uh, she's actually her younger sister. Who is the younger one? She's. You are the younger to yes, this? Yes, sir. All right. Sir, so, while they were coming out to receive the testimony of her elder sister, sir, she couldn't come out because she has been having pepperish pain around her eyes. So they advised her to remain on her seat. While on her seat, she felt something left the eyes and she could see clearly. One blow, three devils down. Yes, sir. confirm that this one that is the most desperate was done. He gave you a sign, gave her a sign to confirm this one. Lift your two hands. Hold it together. Father, let the fire fall. The esophageal cancer died. This official devil dry up and die and disintegrate and dematerialize and dissipate and return back no more forever. Long ago, long ago, your account was settled. Long ago, and the record is clear today. That old account was settled long ago. 
Mahashiba dagala dagala era. Lipe pera ya la la la. Dry up the city, great the materialize the spirit. Osofedia cancer die. Ultrasound, CT scan, and all the scans must confirm Amen. that this devil is dead. Amen. Any of them having a tooth condition? Pain in the, in the tooth? Once they stand up, you let me know. Like lower jaw. Mm. <laughs> Sir, earlier on in the course of the service, the senior pastor took authority over generational issues. This is a clear indication of a generational issue. Our sister here came all the way from Zamfara yesterday to be part of this service because of her son. Zamfara. Zamfara. Very fast. Sir. Now, she had suffered ulcer for 20 years. Her mother, is it your mother? Her mother suffered ulcer. She suffered for 20 years. Her father and her father also suffered ulcer and died as a result of that ulcer condition. Her oh. son, her son now, at the age of 10, he started complaining of abdominal pain. And they went to the hospital and it was diagnosed to be ulcer. They came in that condition to this service this morning. Now, prior to this service, yesterday, at, the, uh, at where they, they put on, she had an encounter a dream where she she saw you rushing into the service and she rushed at you and you say what is it she tried to explain her condition and she saw you with a whip and you told her meet me in the service you came so furiously to the service you rushed out furiously to the service and she came and she had in the course of the service at the shout of i receive the son attests that the pain Associated pain with the ulcer gone. What's your name? Eh? Praise. Congratulations. Ulcer that has killed person before. Generational ulcer. No other person will go. That ancestral ulcer is arrested. In the name of Jesus. Praise. You are healed. You are whole. Anywhere he went. He was doing good. When the people saw Running, running, running. Anywhere, 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 anywhere. Ay, ay, ay. Room to do, to do, to do. Anywhere, 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 anywhere. The healer lived when the cripple saw him, 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 saw him. Anywhere, 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 anywhere. Anywhere, where, where? Aya. Aya. It's time to walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and walk and Anywhere, 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 anywhere. Aya. When the people saw him, saw him, saw him. Saw him, saw him, saw him. Saw him, saw him, saw him. Anywhere, 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 anywhere. Hila, 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 hila. Saw him, saw him, saw him. Saw him, saw him, saw him. My God is with me. Come, mother. Jesus' precious name. So when the three ladies were under the anointing, under the power of God, you said, who has a tooth condition? Uh, so when she got up, 
she said that um, the, the, the mouth condition, tooth condition, is almost you know, equivalent to when the diagnosis of the diabetes happened. Wow. And the other thing was candidiasis. Oh. That actually was what led to the diagnosis. Oh. Because it was going to cause problem. Oh. So the doctor now checks, ah, you have very high level serious diabetes. Wow. And started treating her from there. She said she has changed toothbrush, toothpaste, all manner she has used. If she uses mouthwash, she's in trouble. Salt, and warm salt and water, she will almost scatter the pain, everything, that all parts of her body has become soft, like, you know, very soft. And now, we are talking about diabetes and God is oh, incredible. Yes, sir. This yes, is... Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, similarly to her, she said her own had become part of her life. She doesn't it count condition. it. Yes, well, she doesn't I... count it as an issue for her. It's not her problem. It's not part of the problem. It's not, it's not part, part of, of the, problem. the problem. She said at a point, if she's talking, people will move away from her. Because of the oral trust. Yes, sir. Yes. So two over three of them, yes. they have the tooth condition. Yes, sir. While they are standing right here, say and the pain is gone. Now. The pain is gone. Come closer here. It's okay. You better just just go on down, Anastasia. Power of the Holy Ghost, so the job can be finished. Tell me Also just confirmed that she had had that ulcer for several years until the minister's flaming fire conference last year wow. so she was watching via television right in her room and the case was mentioned and power rushed through her the ulcer died since last year and died forever wow wow congratulations testimony is permanent in jesus name hallelujah uncle praise what would you like to become when you grow up Doctor, yes, sir. so you want me to be like you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, Dr. Praise. Go and doctor and mother praise. God bless you. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Tell us what's going on.
Our sister here came to service this morning with palpitation of the heart. If you stand at the close range, you can feel the beating of the heart. But at the instance of I receive, people of God, that sound ceased. Give the Lord a praise. Well. Hallelujah. Permanent. I, I, I think if we're able to just pull out like two or three drastic so we can make progress. But Sir, these two you people spoke. both had revelation. Stand here. Stand here. She had a revelation where as you are ministering during that um, um, instrumental, she saw a river flowed and then fishes in the river. And then God told her, take that fish, a big fish, open the mouth. She opened the mouth. There was money, loads of Tell money. Something. Loads. <laughs> like Peter. Yes, sir. Money in the mouth of she has received her money. This gentleman, as you are ministering, he saw you elevated. Your legs were not touching the ground. Tell us. I saw God's servant standing on. You are suspended, sir. And your eye was coming out with fire. Tell us what happened. And as you was coming out with fire, you beckoned on me to come. So I was scared. And all of a sudden, you beckoned and said, come over. So I started walking. And I discovered I also walked on the air. I was just coming towards you. And you held my hand. But oil was just flowing. I, was, I could not hold myself. Oil was just flowing through that. That's oil was pouring from you, flowing through his, his head. Congratulations. Come. What are you asking God for? What are you trusting God for? You are a pastor you need for grace. Lift your hands. Amen. Fresh fire. Fresh oil. You are coming back with your testimony. You are coming back with your testimony. I am coming back with my testimony. I am coming back with my change of tone. My mother will can stop it. My mother will can stop it. Baby, I will can stop it. Boy, I will can stop it. Girl, I will can stop it. Are you coming, coming, coming back? I'm coming back with my testimony. Who is coming back? I'm coming back with my testimony. Who is coming back? I'm coming back with my testimony. Who is coming back? I'm coming back with your change of story. Who is coming back? I'm coming back with my testimony. Who is coming back? I'm coming back with my testimony. Who is coming back? I sang this song 
this is not a prophetic word for somebody under the next seven days between now and this time next Tuesday you return with your testimony any area of life when you where which area of life you are trusting God for a testimony it is in your hands under seven days shall the Lord say amen and you take your sin sir you said and you began to pray against serpentine spirits and spirit husbands this sister has been afflicted by spirit husband for a very long time connected to also all kinds of infirmity but as you declare the word this morning our sister is relieved look at the the, the, the line on her hands spirit husband that is tormenting her in the physical any kind of sickness you can diagnose they've diagnosed on her she was in the hospital she came from there with the iv line affecting her marriage affecting her home she said the pain is gone did you say you saw the spirit husband move out? Give a lot of praise. Amen. Sir, it's and the, they're all connected. This sister, blessing, has had issue of serpentine spirit all her life. Like when she was young. In her grandfather's house, they worship serpent. In her father's house, they worship serpent. She said that one day she came for a choir audition, got back home. It's after you pray that she realized that she should be in the choir. And she saw the serpent sucking her breast in the dream. Serpent. Serpent, sir. And when she hit the serpent, the serpent turned to a man and said that that is his part of what he does normally. And she fought the serpent. So that when, is in the dream. In the dream, sir. She said she has had five relationships. And the man would just run away without anything pursuing them. She said, while you hit heavy on that serpent and spirit altar... She saw the serpent crawling out from her legs and began to run away. Serpent crawled out of her leg. Our sister too issued a serpent spirit altar. She repented from the other religion. The serpent came to sleep with her in the dream. And she came here weak and her body swollen. As she spoke against serpent spirit altar, she saw that altar, that serpent leave and began to run. And she checked her leg and was shocked that her legs have deflated. She felt so much strength and she got out here. This other sister, her grandmother had 16 children. Anytime the serpent opened his mouth, it would swallow one child. Only two are remaining now. Her mother, 11. Only seven, seven is remaining. They will see the serpent in the dream. Open its mouth and the child will die. The ah. same serpent ate her own child. But last Saturday, you told her that the serpent has eaten her children and her blessing. And while you spoke now, she saw the same snake running away from her. They all set on fire. Our sister, the same issue. She said they are seven. Nothing to write to my about concerning them. And as she, she keeps seeing serpent in her dream every day. And today as you prayed, she saw the same snake running away. And you hit the snake on the head. And the, head tumbled, the snake tumbled in pain. She's still standing here. In the name of Jesus, I use them as a point of contact to set on fire every demon that is tormenting your life. Every serpentine demon, every occultic demon, witchcraft demon. Fire! Jesus! You're free forever. What do we do? We have so many. Survivor spondylosis oh, since great. last she had the is our God for how long has it been since last month my first day with this I've not been using it again okay but last week, the kind of pains I have in me I, I don't sleep at night oh sleeping at night I'll be afraid moving up chelt in my head what as I don't understand last night I slept I was afraid that if I sleep my eyes will be closed and I won't wake up again I told my younger sister that I'll be coming to Donamis for the second time because sure last week I wanted to come that's how I will have an appointment in my clinic Tuesday I won't be able to come but I say today I have to be here and now you came what happened the pain is gone the pain was there. I told my friend, let me go home. She said I should sit down because the pain was like, I can't sit, I can't stand. 
my, on my way coming to church, before I would leave the staircase, that I said, I wanted to fall down. I said, devil, you are a liar. I have to be here. And now what happened? And the pain is gone. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Pain, you are gone. You will never return. The same, the, of April. the same moving object on yes. the neck that killed your brother. Yes. Lift your hands. Affliction will not arise the second time. Power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Let's go. That Mama came. Hold on. Wow. Mama came from a body state for a And your son carry you come. So what thing happen when you come? No. You see that uh, when I come from my body state for a mogo, and my son carry me come. This young they know they raise them up. I know they walk again. Now this one they walk. This one they walk, but this one no they walk. Immediately when I come out before, when they pray finish, when I bend, all my hair go. They told me with my head. Immediately when I come here, or every my body, I don't get myself. Now. You don't get yourself now. Mm. Get your hand. Wow! Give the Lord a praise. Now where for Ebony State to come? Ebony State, your house, Zara. Oh, house, Zara. Mm. Okay. Father, thank you. We give you the praise and the honor. Blessed be your name in Jesus' precious name. It is done. Yes, tell me. So, uh, our sister here, Juliana, sister Juliana, she came all the way from Kogi State, assisted by her husband and assistant Elo. A friend of her called her in Kogi State to come and pick something. She stepped out of the house, and then as she was going, she saw a shadow entered into her, and then she landed on the ground. In Mobile, she couldn't move again. And then they assisted her to this place this morning. In fact, the sister bet her, wore her clothes before coming here. Where's the sister who, who gave her the bed? This is the husband, husband this is the too. Yes, sir. They gave her a bath, wore her the cloth to bring her this morning. her this morning here. While we shouted, I received. She told me that something dropped in her and then something flew out of her. And now she can move. She can move. You were sent to come and do CT scan from Kogi State. Yes, sir. How did you come when she, how did she come out? You carried her or how? I held her. Oh, yeah. Okay. Both sides. Wow. And now, can you move by yourself now? And, and she came also with a neck pain, excruciating neck pain. She couldn't now she's marching. Somebody that they had to bath and they had to wear cloth. Yes. Walk, walk up there, walk up there. She can turn that neck now. Mama, you can talk. is over forever. Jesus! Precious name. Be free. Congratulations. We are in Kogi State. Of local government. Go on our side. Umomi. 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 Yes, sir. Okay. You are welcome. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. Ugolawa is the headquarters of right. Give the Lord a praise. Tell us. Pastor came all the way from Bayesa to attend the service. Yes. He couldn't move this hand at all. In Mobile. But as we shout, I receive. He told me that something left him. And then currently she can, he can lift the hand up. Give the Lord a praise. In Jesus' name. I have one or two more on the way through. I want the cameras to be off this testimony we want to take. Um, okay. Our brother is a deputy director. In one of the ministries of our status. And he said his superior whom is the director, who is the director, was posted out of the office twice, but she refused to leave. He was meant to take over that office. And for about um, a week and some days now, back and forth, back and forth, he was driving back from the office. All of a sudden, he became dizzy. Became dizzy, his limbs, he had to pull, out, pull over. For two hours, he was not himself. 
He called his friends, two of his friends, came and met him there on the road, got him some fruits, and after about two hours, he was able to drive home. When he got home, his son had to help him to the house. Since then, it's been battles. Couldn't walk by himself, was aided into his service today by his son. He went to the barber's shop. He said he collapsed at the barber's shop. Collapsed there, his tongue out, eyes, eyes had rolled up. Yes, sir. Passed out on Sunday. Passed out. I passed out. hospital for them to rush him down. So he passed out last. So he came into the service aided. He said at the shout of I receive that something left his face. He had that sound of boom from his face. And then he realized himself. One time in area one, when I couldn't raise my shoulder, I was at the back. Pew. The thing just left. Just like that. Here again. The thing just boom. He said he couldn't believe his eyes. He had to take a walk around the sanctuary back and forth and was amazed. Is this me? What is happening? That it is too instant to be true. Business, Business is gone. Only gone. Now it is wherever it came from, it booms back to sender. Come over here. Wherever it came from, wherever it came from, every evil arrow, anyone who wants to kill you before your time, they will take your place in that death. The arrow returns back to hell, back to sender, back to sender. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Go back to your sender. Go back, go back, go Go back to your center. Go back to your center. Can you stand up on your feet? Sing that song two more times. Go back, go back, go back, go back to your center. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back to your center. 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 Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. What we just sang now, we are about to pray it. Can you stand up on your feet? Every arrow of evil, every missile from hell, fired in my direction, into my body, to my family, to my business. Every arrow from hell. And every deposit of hell in my body. Deposit that has made you not to get married, made you not to bring for your children, made you made your healing not to manifest you are retrieved and refired back to hell 
Lift your hands and say after me, say in the name of Jesus. Every arrow, every arrow of hell, of hell, every missile, every missile of evil, of evil, deposit, deposit from hell, from hell, planted, planted in my body, in my body. Today, today, you are retrieved, you are retrieved, and refired, and refired, back to hell, back to hell. Shatter <laughs> Our sister here, she was diagnosed to have a hole in both ears. She couldn't withstand sound before now. But since we came out, she has been standing out there. Out hole there. in the ear healed. Give yes. the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Cancer of the liver. 
She said she feels as though someone tied the liver with pain, season of breath. Say, while the ministrations were on, said as though the liver was on time. Tied. In Jesus' name, you are healed. Leave, fulfill your days in the name of Jesus, and you all fulfill your days. Give the Lord a, a song of celebration. All of you in the front, your testimonies are permanent. Please dance your way back to your seat. Let's go. Let's go. Jesus, of God this morning and under the next 10 minutes I want to charge your mind we are in the month of the word and I want to encourage you to ensure that you are fully connected to the preaching of the word this month because the word brings wholeness so I'm speaking very sharply on the subject wholeness by the word of God wholeness by the word of God how God's word causes us to walk in wholeness. In the book of Psalm 107 verse 20, the Bible said he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. He sent his word and healed them. Our objective is to understand how the word occasions wholeness. And secondly, what to do with the word to see wholeness. How the word of God occasions wholeness. And what to do with the word to experience wholeness. How does the word occasion wholeness? Number one, the word of God transmits healing power. He sends his word and heal them. Heal them. It, it, it transmits healing power. The power to heal. That is... Power to heal includes the power to repair, the power to restore, the power to recreate, the power to heal, the power to repair, the power to restore, the power to recreate. Number two, the word of God, that's Psalm 107 verse 20a. It's good to identify the scripture beside the point. Number two, the word of God transmits deliverance power. That is the release of the word equals the breaking of chains. Again, Psalm 107 verse 20 B. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. While the word is released, chains are broken. Captivities are turned and demons are checked out. The word of God carries the capacity to force out devils. He sent his word, healed them, delivered them from their destructions. Number three, the word of God establishes health. What is the difference between one and three? 
establishes divine health. In the first one, where it transmits healing power, in that one, you were sick. And then the word of God brought you repair. In this third one, it keeps you in the healed position. It keeps you healed. Like we say in the in medicine, the word of God, the first one is therapy, active treatment. The second one is prophylaxis, the prevention of the sickness in the first place. The word of God is chloroquine. It will cause the malaria to be healed. The word of God is also daraprim. It will prevent the malaria from coming. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, it, it, staying on the word is staying in health. The Bible said in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 to verse 22. My son attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Life and health. So the word of God establishes health. Number four, the word of God transmits the life of God. It transmits the life of God. In John chapter 6 verse 63 He said it is the spirit that quickeneth The flesh profiteth nothing The words that I speak unto you They are spirit and they are life Transmits life It is the word of God that will ensure That you fulfill your days I'm sure you have heard of people Who died without being sick uh, So that was a mystery of death That took them so the word of God will handle the forces of sickness and also the forces of death. Where the death wants to come even without a sickness. It transmits the life of God. Divine life. Finally, for today, the word of God releases wholeness to the mind. Wholeness. Because there are sicknesses that are not sicknesses of the body. They are sicknesses of the mind. Anxieties, worries, depressions. Psalm 85 and in verse 8. He said, I will hear what the Lord will speak for he will speak peace he will speak calmness to his people calmness of mind wholeness tranquility serenity equanimity in the mind they are functions of the word how do you benefit from the wholeness power of the word wholeness power of the word Number one, receive the word. Go for the word. Receive the word. Receive the word. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. My son, attend to my words. Incline your ears unto my saints. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto those that find them hell to their flesh. Number two, act on the word. There are actions of the word that will make you whole. For example, Proverbs 17, 22. A merry heart doeth good like medicine. That is an action. You want to walk in wholeness. Act on words that bring wholeness. You want to be whole? Be merry. For example, Hebrews 12 to 15. He said, looking diligently, lest any man fail of the grace of God in case a root of bitterness 
spring up and trouble you. So you act on this word by deciding to be merry, not the first one, and then refusing to be bitter. Refusing to live in bitterness and unforgiveness and all of that. So you act on word that guarantee health, that gu guarantee healing, that guarantee wholeness. And I believe that the Lord will grant us testimonies in Jesus' precious name. You are saying amen, say a louder amen. amen. You are saying amen, say a louder amen. amen. Anywhere you are today, we gave a, a massive altar call was given at the beginning. But if you didn't attend to that altar call and you are still here available in need of surrender to Jesus, forgiveness for your sins, the, trusting God that today marks a new day in your life, pick your Bibles, pick your bags, and step forward here and let us receive you. Carry your Bibles, carry your bags, and step forward because the Bible said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Even before the Lord will heal your diseases, he forgives your iniquities. Psalm 103 verse 1, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities and heals all your diseases. So until your iniquities are forgiven, diseases are not easily healable. Stand up on your feet, carry your Bibles and your bags, and rush to the frontier. While they are doing that, the rest of us get ready to receive the ministry of the word. One to go. Hello. Just a minute. Who is that person going there? That person carrying the bag going there. Find out from her. That's a rude way. That's not spiritual protocol at all. Call is being given for people to come forward. Then you carry your bag and you are going for. That's conflicting signal. When you stand up with thought we're coming forward then you are walking outside walking forward don't ever do that if you want to go you go before the altar call or any other time not at this time yes go ahead respect the action of those surrendering their life to christ by giving them that respect Carry your Bible and bags and come forward. Let's receive you. Oh grace and mercy, I was. Oh Lord, by your grace and
praise and the honor. Place your hand on your chest and pray this prayer after me. And say, Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life and make me a new person. Today I have decided to follow you, Lord. No turning back. Forward ever. Backward never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for you today. I declare the hold of the enemy broken. Grace to live for God. Be released upon you. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody say a loud amen. All right. God bless you. I declare today a new day for you. Hell from above is released upon you. Can you stretch your hands in front of you? I prophesy upon your hands. I declare that your harvest will look for you from the north, south, east, and west. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Go ahead and let us pick up our offerings, our tithes, pledges, so we can honor God. Lift up your offerings, Father, multiply the harvest of every giver. Hands lifted will never drop to bed forever in Jesus' name. Go ahead, celebrate it. Once you have dropped your offering, you can stand up so you can receive the release. If you are here for the first time, please join us also. You want to be a member of the church? Step forward and receive. Let's receive. Everybody singing now. Day midnight prayer tonight is coming with unction for career and destiny breakthrough. 11 30 p.m. in the night. Send us your video clips as well of your testimonies. Midweek service tomorrow will be an explosive time. And all roads lead to Wembley Arena in the United Kingdom on Thursday or Friday. Commanding the day midnight prayers will be transmitted live from Wembley. It's going to be a most explosive time in God's presence. If you are watching from the from Europe as a whole, ensure you don't miss this program. It's holding this week, Thursday, Friday, and we shall see the manifestation of God like never before. While Ethiopia is warming up, and Kenya is also warming up for the month of May which is next month. Father, we give you the praise and we give you the honor in Jesus' precious name. Anybody blessed here today, say amen. amen. Very soon, you will be so independent by financial resources that you'll be traveling with us for all these programs all over the world. Serving as usher, counselor, serving as the crusade team. <laughs> Hallelujah. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Lift your hands today. Be released in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Every testimony you need today that is not yet in your hands, I declare them released now. 
in the name of Jesus. Receive the visitation of God from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Help from above, mercy from above, grace from above be released to you. In Jesus' precious name. 2024 above only and above only where is your place and above only god bless you give the lord a big clap and celebration those in the front remain counselors will attend to you now hallelujah <laughs> Come on.